Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about optimizing the wearables of your character in Character Creator 3. So by wearables I'm talking about things such as your character's clothing, your accessories, and the hair. Alright, so we're going to talk about how we can reduce the poly count of those uh, to make them more suitable for uh, game engine use and optimize the poly count. Okay, so on the screen right now you can see we have this beautiful looking uh, medieval type character dressed in a like cool looking tunic here. Alright, so what we're going to talk about is how to reduce the poly count of specific objects on your character first. And by objects I mean like independent accessories such as the jacket or clothing items I guess such as the jacket, pants, boots and gloves and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's focus first on our character's jacket. It's a pretty nice sweet looking leather jacket there. And what we're going to do is we're going to select it and if you want to see it in wireframe mode you can go over here to shader mode and just select wireframe. I like wireframe unshaded. You can also use the Alt 2 hotkey. So Alt 2 will toggle that on and off. And pay special attention up here on the top left as well. This will tell you the selected item, how many triangles it has. Okay, so this is 27,104. Not terrible, but it's pretty hefty for just a simple jacket like that. And in addition, you can see the total project triangles here is set to 325,548. So that's a fairly hefty, uh, resource heavy character. You want, probably want to reduce that significantly to put it into your game engine. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do here is, we can also press Alt 2, by the way, to uh, toggle that on and off. I to mention that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the poly count of the jacket first. So, we need to do that, we need to access the Insta LOD tool within Character Creator 3. Now, there's three ways you can access that. The first way is to go over here to your Modify panel. Make sure you have the jacket selected. And make sure that you're in your Attributes tab right here. And down at the bottom, you'll see Mesh Polygon Reduction. You have the option for Polygon Reduction Objects and element, which we'll talk about in a separate tutorial. In addition, you can also go up here to the toolbar. There's an Insta LOD drop-down menu, and here you have a few more options. You can see object, and there's wearables, which we'll talk about momentarily here, and a couple other options that we'll cover, we'll cover in other tutorials as well. And finally, up here at Modify, you can go to Modify Polygon Reduction, and you can find reduction for wearables, object, and elements here as well. Okay, so for this first part of the tutorial, we're focusing on the object uh, reduction. So we're going to select object here, specifically for our jacket. Now we have three options here. We have recommended settings, by percentage, or by face count. Let's just go ahead first and select recommended settings. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. So you can see that it reduces the poly count significantly down to 16,218. And you can also see in the scene manager here under jacket, you'll have your uh, default mesh here that's basically become a sub item of the actual mesh. If you want to toggle that back on, you can click on this little eye icon and it'll go back to the original here. So 27,104 and then click on this one, 16,218. Now take a look at the naming convention as well. The name for the recommended settings reduction will have a suffix uh, underscore default optimize. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and try a reduction using another method by percentage. So I'm going to uh, restore my original jacket mesh here. And we're going to go ahead and select by percentage. And we're going to take to 30%. So this will be 30% of the original poly count. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply that. It's going to reduce it quite significantly. You can see right here down to 8,098. And you can see quite a significant difference in the poly reduction. I'm going to press Alt 2. You can see the result right there. And you can see the suffix in the naming convention over here is underscore percentage underscore 30. Okay, so it's 30% of the original poly count. And of course, you can toggle back the original as well, uh, just like we did before. All right, so finally, let's try by face count. And let's do a face count of 8,000. Okay, and just go ahead and apply that. And a face count of 8,000 is going to reduce to around 8,000. In this case, it's 7,987 there. Okay. And uh, you can see that uh, it's fairly uh, significant reduction in the poly count. So if I want to delete any of these, uh, you know, sub meshes that I created, optimized meshes, I can just go ahead and do that. I'm going to close this down first. Uh, we're going to restore our original jacket mesh here. I'm just going to shift select. You can delete them one at a time, just like this. Or you can just shift select uh, two of them and delete. And there you go. We're back to our original jacket mesh of 27,104. All right, so in these pictures here, you can see the difference between the optimization. Not a whole lot of difference, to be honest with you. And you're saving like tens of thousands of uh, poly counts, which is going to make your in-game draw call a lot lower. Okay, 
So now let's take a look at poly a polygon reduction by the entire wearables on your character. And by wearables, I mean all the clothing and all the accessories. Okay, so I'm going to just Alt-2 and uh, take off the wireframe for that uh, jacket there. And let's take a look at reducing the poly count for all the wearables of our character. So to do that, I'm going to select the entire character right here. Okay, make sure the whole character is selected. And you'll notice that in the Modify panel, we don't have the option in Modify to reduce wearables. Okay, optimize wearables. You can only find that in Insta LOD up here, right there, or in the Modify menu item right here, Polygon Reduction Wearables. Okay, so when we select Polygon Reduction Wearables, it's going to reduce the poly count for all the wearables on your character. And you can see it uh, covers it with a wireframe here. Uh, the pants, the boots, uh, the leather jacket, as well as the character's hair. Okay, so everything has been selected, and this is what we're going to reduce all the poly count on all of these items right here. Okay, now if you want to, uh, you can go ahead and just shift select all the wearables in your uh, scene manager here, and you can see that the selected triangle is 292,314, so, you know, fairly significant there. You don't have to have all this selected. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have polygon reduction wearables uh, selected up here, okay? Or this window is open, rather, okay? So we can go ahead and do the recommended settings. Let's go ahead and try it by percentage. I'm going to reduce it to 30%, okay? So quite significantly for all of these, and select Apply. Okay, so once that's finished, you can see now in the scene manager, we have uh, percentage 30 suffixes for all the individual items, and they have all been reduced. If you want to see by how much, we can control select all of them, just like this. Even the hair, we'll throw that in there as well. And now it's reduced down to 87,585 from 200 whatever thousand it was before, okay? So quite a significant reduction, and that's a really easy way to just to reduce the poly count for all the wearables on your character. Now, of course, after you've done the polygon reduction for all of your wearables, you can further reduce it by object. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, close this down. Let's focus on the character's boots now, because I think the boots are still fairly high poly. All right, and let's zoom in on, the, on them boots there. And press, press Alt 2. Uh, as you can see, the poly count is still fairly high on the boots. You know, it doesn't really need to be that high, in, in uh, my opinion. So what you can do is you can reduce that even further by going to Insta LOD and Polygon Reduction Object. Okay, so we're going to reduce it from the already already reduced percentage 30 here. Okay, and this time we're going to reduce by face count. We're going to reduce 10,000. Okay, press Enter and go ahead and apply that. So keep in mind right now it's 55,000. 560, if we go ahead and apply that, it's going to reduce it to around 9,934, close to 10,000, and you can see not too much of a, redu a reduction in quality, and we're saving ourselves tons of resources there, okay? So you can see after here, the suffix is percentage 30, and then faces 10,000, okay? So we reduced uh, to 30% of the original. In addition, then we've also reduced it by 10,000, or to 10,000, rather. So a very, very useful, very important tool uh, for your character creator. Uh, if you're taking your characters into any game engine, you definitely want to reduce them to the uh, best, uh, most optimized version possible so they take up less resources in your game. And you can take a look here at the difference in visuals. It's not really that much, to be honest. Uh, fairly significant reduction in poly count with a very minimal reduction in visual quality. Okay, you can't really notice unless you zoom in super, super close. And in most cases, you're not going to be doing that too often in your game. All right, so that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot. And make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and our other character, uh, character Creator 3 tutorials as well. And I hope to see you in the next video.